Hey, this is Ray. Welcome to my workshop, or what used to be my workshop. You see, I'm moving, and I got my great guitar build off for 2022 behind me. I want to show you some of the stuff that makes it great, but not as an attempt to win the great guitar build off. I'm uh, a little behind schedule, and I'll tell you why here in a minute. Stick around. So first off, is all original shape defined based on the idea of looking at a battle axe but also to just get the ergonomics right it's roughly the the same size as a telly but uh, much longer on the horn longer on this side narrower vertically every curve on this has been thought out as I showed in my first video Second, coolness. There's not a straight line on this thing. Look at in view. Got a curvature in all directions. Curvature in every aspect. The back, undercut. Everything about this is unique and not straight. Only straight lines are here and they're not parallel. These are straight lines fanned fret. There's just nothing on this that is parallel or square and that is by design. The inlay of the dragon is flame maple within quilted maple. My one regret on this is I ran out of time to do a proper gloss finish and I went with an oil. Now that's okay. It's beautiful and warm but it just it darkened the dragon a bit and didn't pop like I wanted to do but look at those colors that thing just is great so I'm excited about how it turned out the headstock itself once again matches great another thing I'll show off that is an original bridge. Uh, you'd say that was an acoustic style bridge, but you'd be kind of wrong. See this brass rod here? That's your grounding point. You need a grounding point for your strings. If you look on the end, I have to angle it. See that's sitting up off the, the bottom. There's a reason for that. The bottom of this has an adjusting plate which I'm not sure if I can pull this off right now. Inside that are some bolts. I can raise and lower. Based on the strings I choose to use, I can raise and lower that bridge. That's an adjustable bridge. Bone nut, that is not uh, easily adjustable. Once the intonation has been set correctly, you can see how I've adjusted the scale length at each individual point to fine tune that. This will be awesome. Now, depending on your playing style, you might want to adjust it up, adjust it down. That's adjustable. So everyone uses someone else's bridge. I did not, I built my own. I think in and of itself, that's a cool thing. Seymour Duncan, quarter pounder and an irregular telly style bridge pickup. Has a gold leaf and gold dust coated with epoxy. And just little tiny covers that are in gold there. Dragons love gold. Had to have that. Speaking of which, hope you can catch this. In the finish, just a hint of gold flake in the oil. Looks like the dragon's sitting on a bed of coals. Little gold flakes and he's guarding the bar of gold. Kind of cool, I think. The neck, roasted maple. That and the main guitar face, the quilted, was a gift from Ty Tyler at 
Jock the Fox guitars. When I visited him, he said, hey, would you like some wood? I'm like, yeah, I would. And dang, those are some nice pieces there. So, fan fret arrangement. First time I've done a fan fret. Nut is at an angle. A lute on the back, carved at an angle so that I get the best feel right up here gripping. It may be a little bit of a chunky volute, but it is so very comfortable. Neck shape is a little on the fat side, but you know what? It's nice and smooth and silky. And I think I'm gonna love this. So, tuners, gold, hip shot, very nice. Three-way selector, volume, tone. In that way, kind of telly-like. However, with the quarter pounders, I think this is gonna just really sing. Uh, I have a Texas Toast guitar with a quarter pounder in it, and I really like that. One other thing you notice, if you step back, talked about this in my design phase starting with an angle over here and I'm walking it back for an angle I'm walking across here aesthetically everything lines up I think it's a beautiful body shape in in that way now what that does is it makes it a little weird a normal telly is oriented another direction what does that do to the tone? Well, what happens as your pickup moves from this side further this way, it gets warmer. And what that's gonna do is the bottom portion of this is a little closer to the nut than it would be on a telly. However, the top here is actually at roughly telly position. So it's going to be a little bit warmer here. But the scale lengths are different. If you see here, I've got a longer scale length on the top than on the bottom. This is a Les Paul style length. This will sound different than any other guitar of similar construction. So very excited about that now for confessions of the amateur luthier part three go back in here she's empty i never wired her up got all the jacks hooked up i just haven't wired it so i can't play it drive me nuts but i'm out of time Movers are showing up at my house tomorrow. I have to pack this up and finish it later. It's killing me, but shit, what are you gonna do? So this is my third year in the Great Guitar Build-Off. One of the original guys that entered as a, what do we call it, unofficial Great Guitar Build-Off. And I'm proud to be a part of it. This is a great competition. Sometimes screwed up, but it is just a lot of fun. And what I'm going to do, guys, as I promised, I'm going to slow down. I'm going to show you how I built this thing. To be fair, I've got, I don't know, hours and hours of footage of building this, and I haven't had time to mix it, which kind of sucks because I got some cool stuff to show. So if you guys are building stuff for the Great Guitar Build Off, I wish you the best of luck. I'm not winning this year, but dang, I wish I could finish this to the level that I wanted to. So I've checked the scale length and I've got a really rough setup on it right now. String height is way too high and I need to tune this thing down. It's only going to take me a few hours to finish the wiring to do a final setup on this. Neck is straight. It's it's gonna be great, but I can't play it for you right now. 
I have to do that in another episode. So I hope you come back and watch it. But in the near term, go vote for somebody. Pick somebody to win. There's so many great guys out there. So that's it for Ray. Great guitar build off 2022. I really wish you guys the best of luck. And I hate to say it, this may be my last build for a while. But I will tell you this, this is the last complicated giant inlay I ever do by hand. Oh my God, what a pain. Next time I'm gonna see and see the shit out of this thing. So if I work that out, I'll show you how to set that up too. You guys have a great time. Be safe. Play some guitar. Go buy someone else's guitar. You guys take care. See ya.